Welcome everybody. My name is Tyler Garns. I'm CEO and founder here at Box Out Marketing. Today's global user group meeting topic is how to automate gift giving. The secret to loving on your customers when they give referrals, make repeat purchases, and more. Uh, it's a really exciting topic to me because we live in a day and age where everything is so easy to do digitally that you either forget or neglect or consciously choose not to do some of the traditional things that used to be done when things were done more face-to-face -face and more hands-on. Um, and uh, so, therefore, in a world where most things are done digitally, if you do go ahead and maybe uh, deliver a gift in the mail, you really stand out compared to your competition. Uh, so let's uh, cover just a couple of things here real quick. Uh, housekeeping items before we dive into the actual content. First, you're all on mute, of course. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and drop them right into the questions box in GoToMeeting. I'll address all questions by the end of the webinar. Uh, oftentimes it takes me till the end to get to the questions, but go ahead and put them in there as you think of them so you don't forget what your question was. And I'll make sure we cover them all at the end. Uh, this session will be recorded, so if for some reason um, you, know, you have to leave early or if you don't want to take notes or whatever, it will be recorded. It will be available in our membership site and you all will have access to it. Uh, take a moment as well here and just introduce yourself in the GoToWebinar uh, questions box. Just go ahead and say hi and who you are and where you're from and you know, all those kinds of good details. Uh, it gives us a good sense for who's here and uh, and what we're dealing with. Uh, and I like to just connect with you all as much as possible, even though it's a virtual meeting and it's kind of a one-way uh, conversation. I like to open it up uh, to a two-way conversation as much as possible. So we've got uh, Philip from Rockford, Illinois. We've got Stuart from the UK, Chris from Maryland, Colleen from uh, Hefner Financial in Charlotte, and a few others who are just staying quiet in the background there, John from Florida, um, and a bunch of others who just are not uh, are not wanting to talk today. That's okay. We're not going to force you. <laughs> Todd from Encino. Uh, we've got Seth joining in. Uh, a bunch of people. So great to have you all. Um, do me another favor as, you, as you're typing your little introduction there. Uh, go ahead and type in as well what you're hoping to get out of this particular webinar. You know, it's one of those topics where uh, we came up with the topic because it fits the season, right? But then as I really put together the content, I'm like, hey, this is an area where I've got some ideas and I'm happy to share those ideas and some experience. And I'll share with you, you know, one or two of the campaigns that we actually run at uh, Box Out Marketing. But I really am curious to know what you came for. Um, and I want to make sure we address that uh, in, in a lot of you know the webinars, the content that we produce. Uh, we know because we interact with our clients, we talk to a lot of Infusionsoft users, we know what you're looking for. But this is one where, as I thought about it, I'm like, I'm not really sure why people are getting on this webinar. I'm not sure exactly what they're looking for. So I'd love to hear uh, you mention in the questions box there what exactly you are looking for, okay? Okay, next, as you're, as you're typing that in, by the way, as you're typing in what you're hoping to get out of this webinar, I want you to be thinking as well uh, and get ready to share um, you know, some experiences. What are the best gifts that you've received or given or seen given in a business situation? Uh, I'd love to, to hear what you've experienced and what you think are great ideas. Um, and then uh, what about the weirdest gifts uh, that you've seen given? Uh, sometimes weird is good, sometimes it's not, but uh, love, to, love to hear what you, what you say there. So um, just going to review here what you guys said you're hoping to get out of this. Uh, so Philip says automation, Seth says looking for ideas to get response from customers and prospects. Uh, Jared says gift giving for birthdays and holidays. Stuart says, I just love learning as much about infusion stuff as possible. Great. Uh, Mike, uh, ease of use, systematic give, gift giving so I don't forget. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, John says, uh, we do a lot of offline gift giving, but I wanted to know how to automate some of it. Great. 
Jamie says, I'd like to better integrate digital with physical marketing activities for maximum impact. Perfect. Uh, plus, if time allows, any thoughts on the new update like web page automation? Yeah, Jamie, that's probably for another day. But yes, the new stuff that's coming is really, really cool. Uh, we've had those features in our account for the last couple of weeks, and it's super exciting. Uh, Scott says, looking to see what kinds of gifts you are giving and how you're doing it. Um, also, campaign ninja junkie. Great. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's get right into this. So first thing is, you ought to be familiar with the perfect customer lifecycle. This is a graphic that uh, Infusionsoft developed years ago, um, and it outlines the stages of the customer lifecycle, right? You attract the traffic, and when the traffic comes, you try and capture them as leads, and you nurture those prospects, and then you work on converting the sales, you deliver and satisfy what they bought, uh, you upsell them, and then you get referrals, right? Pretty standard processes, and that's kind of the whole vision behind Infusionsoft is you can automate all of those things. So where in, in these stages uh, will we uh, try to or, or will we implement uh, gift giving? Well, I would say that even at the lead capture stage, uh, you can do this and you can do it really well. You can do it in nurturing stages. You can do it as you're working through the sales process. Of course, when you deliver your product or service, you can do it there, um, even uh, when you upsell and when you're trying to drive referrals. So really all the stages except for attracting traffic are appropriate for gift giving. So I want you to kind of go through this webinar with that lens, thinking where in my processes can I introduce some gift giving that might help build relationships, that might help uh, conversion that might help retention, those types of things. I'm going to give you some ideas, but every business is different, and you need to be thinking of it in terms of your business, your customer lifecycle. Where are those points where it makes a sen makes sense right now, and where are those points where it might not make sense now, but we can make some changes so that it makes sense in the future. So let's talk about a, a few of these just real quickly, and then we're going to get into some more detailed ideas here. So the first one, capture leads. One of the things I like to do is a two-step lead capture. So you might be asking, well, what's a two-step lead capture? Well, two-step lead capture is when the first step is very, very simple, like you see on the screen here. You've got uh, name and email, or maybe even just email address. And when you hit the button there, this one is download the ebook, you click that button and you submit the form, the thank you page will then have another form with additional information, ideally a mailing address or a phone number, cell phone number, something like that, where you can follow up in a different way. And you ask for that information in exchange for something additional. So we're talking about gift giving. Don't forget that in the lead capture process, we're giving a gift in exchange for their email, right? And so right here on the first step, it's you know this PDF, the ultimate online profit model is the one that I just grabbed a screenshot of here. Um, but whatever lead magnet you're giving is a gift, right? But then the next step, oftentimes we say, hey, thank you very much. Go check your email. We'll send it to you. Well, we don't want to do that. They've just taken a step towards the business. So on the thank you page, what else can we offer in exchange for more information? So in exchange for a mailing address, so that we can send various gifts and entice people to take the next step, what could we give them? Could we send them a hard copy of this same report? Can we send them a hard copy plus a DVD? Should we just send them something else? Or maybe we text them something. What, how could you introduce some gift giving? Maybe when they get to that next page, you present it as a bonus gift. Or congratulations, you've just won a prize, right? And you do that on that thank you page. Just put in your mailing address here and we'll send you such and such. Uh, it's a great way to engage leads just a little bit further than what it was before when it was just the PDF, just the, 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 uh, the lead magnet that you were offering, okay? All right, so the next stage, convert sales. Here we have something like a shock and awe package. So if you're not familiar with a shock and awe package, shock and awe package is something that uh, has been done in the direct mail, direct response marketing world for a long time. And the idea here is when you get someone who's a qualified prospect and you've collected uh, a mailing address for these people, then typically right before you have a consultation with them. So this is a little more appropriate in situations where maybe it's a service-based business, business and you have a consultation with someone before you sell them or as part of the sales process. So before that consultation, you send them in the mail 
a box or a package of a bunch of cool stuff, right? A lot of value. So it might be reports, booklets, uh, tools, uh, various different things that are going to help them with whatever problem they have. It also sets you up as the expert because you're delivering all this great content. Um, and so that can be used as part of the sales process. If they receive a shock and awe package right before you have a consultation with them, they open that up, they look at it and they go, oh, wow, this is really great stuff. And then they get on the consultation with you. That conversation, I promise, is going to go a lot easier because you've already established some credibility. You've already built up some goodwill by giving them all this cool stuff. And uh, they're just much more engaged at that point. So uh, think about your sales process. What does it look like? How can you introduce a shock and awe package or something similar in that situation? Again, we're talking about gift giving today. And we don't necessarily think of our lead magnets and shock and awe packages and things like that as gifts, but they are. And so maybe we need to reposition them and really think of them as gifts. And how do we talk about it? Instead of, hey, fill out this form to get this cool thing we're going to send you, congratulations, you've won a prize, or congratulations, we want to send you a gift, positions it slightly differently, right? And for a shock and awe package like this, uh, if you change your mindset around it being a gift, you're spending money to put this together, to mail it out, uh, postage and time and effort and all that kind of stuff. It's a gift. Uh, how does that change the way you position it when you put it into your marketing? All right, deliver and satisfy. Uh, if you are selling online, there's a great opportunity for you to send a physical gift. If you're already sending physical products that they're buying, then of course you can just include it in the package, right? But if you just send simple physical gifts uh, and you're an online business, you will stand out against your competition, no problem. And if they purchased from you, you should have a billing address uh, at least for uh, the billing. Um, so you've got some address to mail something to, and uh, you can send a gift there. And uh, that, again, will go a long ways for new customers. It's a great idea in particular for people who are buying some kind of subscription or recurring service or product because this is going to increase retention. All right, next is upsell uh, customers or generate repeat customers. Okay, Again, here... We've got many, many different ways, and I'm going to show you, and, and we'll get into some examples here, of being able to spur repeat customers and upsells by just delivering these very, very simple gifts. Get referrals is one that uh, we'll go into a little bit of detail here. Um, so you can send gifts to your clients or your customers when they send a referral that becomes a customer or if they just send a referral in general. So this is actually a postcard, this image here that you see now, is actually a postcard that we send when a, a customer of ours gives us a referral that becomes a customer. So our customers, our clients, are Infusionsoft users. Right. So uh, Infusionsoft users understand automation or at least they understand the concepts and let's see, I'm sorry, I just now am seeing messages that you guys can't see the screen. You didn't miss a whole lot. You know, I'm just talking through the concepts here. There were some images that go along with them. But now <laughs> I'm actually showing you a postcard. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. I thought I pushed it. You guys all said that you could see the screen, but something changed. Um, so anyways, let me know if you can see the screen now. Lots of comments that you couldn't see my screen. Sorry, I wasn't checking those comments. Um, but there we go. Looks like you can see it now. So this is a postcard that we send uh, when our clients give us referrals. Like I said, our clients uh, understand that we're using Infusionsoft uh, because we're an Infusionsoft agency, essentially. And, um, and so there's no sense um, you know, hiding behind the automation or, or trying to make it look real when it's really automated because our clients are going to know, right? <laughs> and so we actually just address it in a way that we hope teaches them a little bit about automation. So the card, the postcard says, this sincere thank you may be automated, but it is not thoughtless, right? And that gets sent with some brownies. Um, and so that's uh, a postcard and some brownies that, that we send when our clients 
give us referrals and uh, and they love it. We get really, really good reviews on this when they get those brownies. Uh, people always tell us how amazing the brownies are. We're not baking them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you can set that up in, in your business. And that's with Zendirect. Uh, so you go to boxoutmarketing.com slash Zendirect. Zendirect is the company that sends the brownies and the cards. And uh, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a campaign in Zendirect. It's really, really simple. And it's a great service uh, that we definitely recommend. So Box Out Marketing dot com slash zendirect uh, i'll put it into the questions box here so that you guys have that you can just click on it com slash zendirect and there you go so um We've got uh, Zendirect is the is the tool that we use to send those brownies and those cards that I just mentioned. Uh, here's the website, uh, Zendirect.com, and uh, they have all kinds of gifts, uh, all kinds of different types of cards that you can send. So this is, you know, looking at their library of gifts, you can see there's C's candy, lots of different types of chocolates, popcorn, uh, cookies, uh, nuts, uh, various different things that you can send through Zendirect as well as uh, you know, postcards and flyers and things like that. So uh, with Zendirect, you can send great gifts. Uh, it has a free integration with Infusionsoft, one of the reasons I really like uh, Zendirect. Uh, unlimited merge fields. So if you are familiar with send-out cards, uh, integrations with send-out cards usually will only allow you to merge in one field. So you merge in like the first name into uh, the card or the letter. With Zendirect, you can merge in as much custom information as you want from the contact record in Infusionsoft into uh, the letter, the flyer, the postcard, whatever. You can upload your own custom design postcards and uh, you can mail postcards, greeting cards, trifold mailers, and tabbed mailers. Um, and then there's no forced branding like send out cards. So again, those are all the reasons we like Zendirect. Obviously, send out cards can do a lot of the same stuff, um, but there are some advantages here with Zendirect. Um, cost is, is really, really affordable. I think to send a postcard, um, you know, print it, stamp it, send it, everything is, is like around a dollar. Um, so it's, uh, it's very affordable and that's all variable printing. So you, you know, every postcard is different because you're merging in someone's name and, and whatever information you want there. So anyways, again, that's boxoutmarketing.com slash Zendirect if you want to go check it out. Um, so let's get into uh, some specifics. Let's get into a campaign here. So here's our campaign for when clients send us referrals. If a client sends us a referral, what we do is when that client, when the referral becomes a client, we fill out this internal form for the person who referred them. So you can see the little internal form there. Um, and uh, basically, it's just, uh, it, we just make sure we have a mailing address for them. Um, and, and then the form is submitted. Uh, there's no other information that we're putting into that form. And so we're using it just because we need to make sure we have a, um, a mailing address, right? And so uh, what happens here is when we submit it the first time, they go to the first referral gift sequence there okay so the first referral gift sequence is the one that they go into first if we come back and we send to them again uh or sorry if they refer to us again and we put them in this form again then they're going to go into the second referral gift and then on to the third referral gift and so forth so the reason we do this is because we want to send them a gift every time that they um, give us a referral that becomes a client, but we don't want to send them the same gift again and again and again. So we have it set up so that it puts them into a different sequence every single time and gives them a different gift every single time. And those are all done through Zendirect. Okay, so uh, in the in the first referral, I'll take you through each of these uh, gifts that we send. Um, but what it does is it keeps them guessing. Like every time they send a referral and it, and they they get the gift, they're like excited about it. And then when they get another one, they're like, oh wow, that's cool. It was different. And then they're kind of guessing, well, what's going to be next? What's going to be next? And they get excited and uh, encouraged to send more referrals. It's great. So the first one I already mentioned, uh, it's this one. It says, this sincere thank you may be automated, but it is not thoughtless, and it comes with some brownies. Now, each of these cards on the back has a custom message as well. So it'll say, you know, thank you, John, blah, 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 blah. It has a whole message thanking them for the referral. So uh, even if they're not quite 100% sure what this uh, part of the card means, the front part of the postcard, uh, they know exactly what it's for because on the back it says, hey, thanks so much for the referral. We really appreciate it, blah, 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 right? 
So that's the first time. The second time they come through, uh, they get this package of caramels. So different caramels, a, a few different types of caramels all blended together in one bag. And so it says, we're better together just like these caramels, right? Um, so, you know, I'm not the most creative writer, but I came up with these, you know, cheeky little things to, to send to people, but they love it, right? And so uh, the second time they give us a gift or give us a, a referral, uh, we send them this gift of caramel trio bag with we're better together just like these caramels and another little message on the back of that postcard. And then the third time we send them uh, a package of three different popcorns. So three flavors of popcorn. And it says triple popcorn to show our triple thanks, right? So again, yeah, cheeky little things. Um, kind of silly, but hey, it is what it is, and it's just kind of a fun way to um, to really let our clients know that we care and we appreciate them for trusting us and giving us referrals. Um, and so you can use this same type of strategy for repeat buyers, right? If you have people buying uh, multiple things from you, when they buy the first time, you send them a gift. When they buy the second time, you can send them a different gift. When they buy a third time, send them a, a third gift, and have that go on and on and on to encourage repeat purchases. Uh, so it's a really fun way and very cost effective way. Each of those just costs, costs a few bucks, right? For the, the package and the card and then the postage is really all you're, you're paying for. I think most of them end up around $6 or so uh, to send that. And so um, it's very affordable. And like I said, if you're just doing the postcard, it's, uh, it's just like a dollar. And so um, it's, it's a really fun way to engage with, uh, with people to get them to refer more, to get them to buy more, uh, etc. So let's talk about some ways to wow your customers. Um, obviously, when you sign up a new customer, you could send them a welcome gift. Uh, a welcome gift, really easy to send. You go into Zendirect or any other service that you want to use. Um, just choose a gift, uh, put a card in there, and just have that automatically triggered every time someone becomes a new customer. Now, what about unexpected gifts? So if you study psychology, you may be aware of uh, this, the psychology studies that have been done behind gambling. So the reason gambling is so addictive, the reason gamblers just can't pull themselves away, is because the un of the unexpected, unpredictable nature of the win. If you won every time, you would actually get bored of it. Now that sounds crazy because like oh I wouldn't get I wouldn't get bored of hitting the jackpot every time I just keep pulling that lever right but truthfully it would be boring right it would just be boring if the same thing happened over and over and over um, but that unexpected unpredictable nature of the reward is what creates the addiction okay it's the anticipation of a potential reward that creates that excitement. And so when someone receives an unexpected gift, it creates so much more goodwill than when someone fills out a form for a lead magnet and they know it's coming and you mail them something in the mail or you email it to them as a PDF, right? So an unexpected gift, where are the situations in your business where you could inject an unexpected gift and probably receive an unexpected outcome, right? You'll have customers who are super excited, people that become raving fans because you sent them an unexpected gift. And then we talked about repeat buyer gifts as well. Um, just every time they come back and do something, send them a little gift. Or you could even set it up, you know, every third time they buy something, they, they get a gift. And so it's a little more random. Um, you know, any which way you want to do it is doable with Infusionsoft and uh, a fulfillment center if you're sending direct mail. Okay. And now that brings us to the next topic, which is not all gifts have to be physical, right? I'm kind of hammering on this because I really like sending something physical in the mail. And I think it's a great differentiator in the digital world that we live in. But realize that you can send plenty of digital gifts without any problem whatsoever. Okay. So let's just say you have a membership site and you're trying to increase retention. Well, you can tell members about upcoming gifts. So let's just say you have a monthly membership and on average, people are canceling at about month three or month four or so, right? Or maybe they're canceling at month two, wherever it might be. Let's say they're canceling at month two. Well, if in month two, the month where they're typically canceling, I tell them, hey, thanks so much for being a member of our membership site. In month three, or say next month, in 30 days, just because you're a member, we're going to send you such and such gift. 
we're going to send you an extra tool. We're going to give you access to an additional course. We're going to give you some cool thing. We're going to mail you something, whatever it might be. Think either online, you know, digital resources we can send them, or even offline things. But if we can give them access to something or gift them something in the mail, something for free on that third month, now think about the mentality. These people, on average, they're canceling in the second month. But if they now realize, ooh, if I just hang on till month three, I'm going to get this cool thing. And if that cool thing has a lot of value, you know, I like membership sites with courses because then you can dangle that next course out there. Hey, in month three, you're going to get access for free. You don't even have to pay. You can get free access to such and such course, which wasn't included in your membership site. But just to thank you, we're going to give you access to it. That's an incentive for them to stay past month two and into month three. Okay, so you can give away digital assets, tools, and uh, you know other things that are tied to the membership site, courses, and things like that. What you want to do is look at your stats, and uh, if you're not doing this currently, hopefully this will encourage you to really uh, pull the numbers here. You need to go and figure out when people are canceling. Look at the common cancellation points, and then deliver unexpected gifts right before that point. Okay, so if, again, if, if they're canceling on average at three months, then send them something in month two. If there's another drop-off point around six months or nine months, then deliver something at five months or eight months. Give them that gift that keeps them engaged and wanting to stay at points when you thought that they were going to cancel. Okay, so let's go over kind of the mechanics here, just so there's a little bit of uh, Infusionsoft instruction on how to set up uh, Zendirect, and you're going to see how easy this is. Okay, so once you get a, a Zendirect account, uh, you go in to create a new mailing, and you choose, I'm going to do a greeting card, a postcard, a trifold mailer, a tapped mailer, etc. Just click on the one that you want, and then you upload your custom images. So I uploaded this image. Uh, to go on the front of our postcard and then you see over there on the left hand side where it says pages and then underneath the green bar says front and then you click on back uh, that shows you the back of the card and then you can just type in the message you want to send so you can see the merge fields that Zendirect uses slightly different than in Infusionsoft right so here we have kind of the double brackets for the merge fields and it's going to merge in from Infusionsoft the first name there. So this one it says, thank you so much for trusting us enough to refer a friend to Box Up Marketing. Here's a little treat to let you know how much we appreciate you. Thank you, the Box Up Marketing team. Okay, so that's the front and the back. You just upload the images, type in the message you want, and you're good to go. So you get a chance to preview it, and then you go to the next step. The next step is um, you go to the left-hand menu there. It's kind of cut off, but you click on integrations. And you can see they have integrations with a bunch of stuff. Uh, but you go ahead and just click the uh, Infusionsoft integration. And once you put in your API key and everything, then you click this blue button to um, create uh, a new action. And when you create a new action here, you're going to give the action a name. So you can see upper left-hand corner there. And then you're going to choose a project. So you've already created your mailing uh, that ends up as a project. And you select which project you're dealing with. So this is my first referral gift card. And then over here on the right, you select a gift. So you select any of the gifts that, um, that Zendrek has, you know, the, the chocolates or the um, caramels or the brownies or whatever it might be. You choose which one you want to go with that particular card. And then you choose the address down below of where you want it to be sent from, your mailing address. And then the, the mailing address you want to use out of Infusionsoft. So I chose billing address from Infusionsoft is the one I'm using. And then you save it. It'll end up in this list. And there's a, an Infusionsoft post URL right here. So it's an HTTP post URL. You're going to copy that URL in the field on the right-hand side there. And then you're going to go into Infusionsoft to set up your campaign. In your sequence where you want to deliver this thing, you just grab the send HTTP post from the uh, process tray on the left, connect it out into your sequence, open that up, paste that post URL right here where it says post URL, and then the contact ID will already be there. The next thing you have to do is whatever merge fields you had in your postcard or your uh, trifold mailer or whatever it might be, you need to type that merge field the same way right here and then have the value of it being merged in here. So this is the name that it's passing to Zendirect, and this is the actual value. So I'm passing first name, and then for me it would merge in Tyler right here. And uh, so that's what goes to, to Zendirect to merge into your actual card. 
And that's it. Super, super easy to set that up. So I asked you earlier, you know, think of some weird gift ideas uh, that you might want to share with the group here. I'd love to hear um, what you guys have seen as weird gifts. So go ahead and type those in here. I'm going to scroll back through the comments. There's tons and tons of comments here about uh, not seeing, not being able to see the screen. So I apologize about that. Um, just see if there's any comments here from when I brought this up before. Okay, so here's one from John. He says, we gave Charlie Brown trees to our business clients and also leg lamps. Awesome. So from the old classic movie, uh, The Christmas Story, right? And then, and then the Charlie Brown trees. That's really, really cool. So I like that. All right. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this mean, means, but Jared says, uh, fragile must be Italian. Oh, he's quoting the movie. <laughs> That's right. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, all right. Uh, Tom says, um, so we'll, we'll just move on to best gift ideas. Uh, and if you have any weird ones, go ahead and submit those too. Um, Tom says, uh, when new members sign up for a $1 trial, we send them a thank you card. Cost us 99 cents. Nobody expects a thank you card when they've spent a walloping buck. <laughs> nice way to express some goodwill. Perfect. That's awesome, Tom. All right. Um, Jared's asking for our affiliate code. You don't need an affiliate code, Jared. Um, I think you should be able to just uh, go through that link that I gave you, boxoutmarketing.com slash zendirect, and it should automatically fill it. Um, I mean, if you want to sign up with them, great. We'd appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Jamie says you could make a small donation to their favorite charity in their name. That's a very cool idea. I like that. Um, what would be really cool is if the charity had, uh, some kind of API and you could automate it. Um, obviously when you start to get into some ideas like that, that are outside the box, which I love, uh, you're gonna have to figure out, you know, customized ways to automate those things. Um, uh, but that's a, that's a really good idea. If you could send someone a card in the mail, it says, Hey, thanks so much for signing up for blah, blah, blah. To show our appreciation, we've donated $10 to such and such charity on your behalf. I think that makes, you know, gives people the warm fuzzies. That, that, that makes people feel really good about you, about your business, about your business practices, uh, et cetera. So that's a great idea. Okay, what other ideas do you guys have? Um, what ideas have you seen? Uh, what ideas are you using in your business? What ideas have you experienced as a customer? Sorry, I'm just going through all these comments. There's so many comments about, hey, we can't see the screen. I'm trying to clear them all out right now. All right, Tom is saying, uh, food is always great as a gift, especially stuff you wouldn't normally buy for yourself. Yeah, I think, I think there's some truth to that. It's a great idea. Uh, Jared says flash drive shaped like a gun was a cool little gift I've received. That's interesting. I'd be interested to know what kind of business it was that gave you that. Um, I've been seeing a lot lately flash drives, um, that are part of like one of those rubber bracelets. Uh, so you get like the rubber bra bracelet with the company's logo on it and it has a flash drive like embedded in there. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So Jared says that was a firearms manufacturer. Uh, he's in that industry. Yeah, totally. That, that sounds great. Um, Jamie says, uh, just getting a welcome card is so memorable. I kept them for a long time, especially if personally signed. Um, yeah, that, that makes a good point, Jamie, just the impact that, uh, that it has on people. Um, like I've had clients of ours send me a photo of that card that I showed you, the one that says, um, this, uh, sincere thank you is automated, but not thoughtless. I've had people send me a picture of that postcard, um, pinned on their, uh, on the refrigerator with a magnet, um, you know, and that that surprised me. You know, I just figured, hey, you get the brownies and you throw the rest away, <laughs> right? But to them, it made an impact, just like you're saying. It's memorable, and they actually stuck it on their fridge. Like, hey, I don't know if they were trying to keep it as, hey, this is a good idea that maybe we should implement this, or if they just appreciated it and they put it on the fridge. Either way, I don't care because it leaves them, um, you know, with that strong impression, and uh, and they're not going to forget, right? Uh, Jared says, coffee is never a bad idea. Jamie says, a gift that keeps giving is a magazine subscription for one year. Yeah, great idea. 
All right, cool. Very good. So um, what I want to do is just open it up to Q&A now. I've kept this kind of short uh, on purpose because I want to open it up to, to time for you guys to ask questions. And we can even open up an Infusionsoft account and uh, play through, through some scenarios. If you have questions about how to do different types of GIFs, um, or how to build the campaigns for them, uh, go ahead and fire away those questions. And we can just dive right in and go through it and show you exactly how to get those things done. We'll spend about 10 minutes or so doing this, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up. All right, Mike's got a question about Zendirect. Can Zendirect do fulfillment to other gifts or only their products? You know, Mike, it's a great question. Um, they only have uh, what you see on the website, but I just talked to someone the other day that said that they mailed a bunch of stuff to Zendirect, and Zendirect is is fulfilling on it for them. So I don't know if you have to meet a certain, a certain volume uh, for them to do that. Uh, if you have to pay them a certain amount of money, you know, if that is, it's not promoted on their website. I went looking for it after I heard that. I wanted to see, hey, is this something that they're offering as a service or was just kind of a one-off deal? But I know someone who's doing that. Um, so it'd be worth uh, reaching out to Zendirect and say, hey, how does this work? Um, and can we send you uh, our own gifts to fulfill? Um, yeah, Jared's asking, can you set up a brand new campaign like you just started with Zendirect? Absolutely. Let's walk through the process here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a, an Infusionsoft account. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to open up another tab with Zendirect. So I'll log into Zendirect. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a new mailing here. Actually, let's see if I need to do, yeah, I'll, I'll start with projects and I'll go to create a new mailing and I'm going to do a postcard and then I choose the size. That was one step that I left out when I showed you earlier. So I'll go to the four by six and then design your own. They have um, for real estate agents, if you want to use this kind of new listing postcard thing, but it's the, I think it's the only template they have. <laughs> so you have to basically do your own. Uh, so once you get to this point, um, you wait for this whole thing to load and then you need to get your photos. So you add photos by clicking the screen button and then they end up down here in this My Photos bucket. And you've got all your photos here. So if I click on My Photos, it'll show all the different cards and our logo that we use. So once they're uploaded, which is easy, right? You just click this Add Photos and then you um, can create an album and select that album. And, uh, and then let's see here. Not sure what happened. This didn't load right, but you can upload your images uh, right in there. So, anyways, once you have those uploaded, um, you can just drag them on. So, I'll drag it right on there. Um, now, you want to, of course, have those created to where they're high enough resolution, to they where they print really nice and they fit the size right. So, I had those images created as four by six because I knew that was the uh, size of the postcard I was going to use. Okay, so I put that on the front, and then I go ahead and click on the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and type uh, the message. So I'll choose text, and I'm put this here, and I'll go ahead and type down here. It's a little bit weird the interface here. You can't like double click in there and type. You just type down here. So I'll say hi, and let me use the double brackets. First name, double brackets. Thanks for whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Right, um, and then I can uh, drag this green box to put that text wherever I want, and I'm going to do that because I'm going to come back here and grab our logo and stick our logo down here, and we're all set. You can't type in this area because that's the mailing address and the barcode area and all that kind of stuff. So once you're done with that, you go ahead and scroll down in here, and you can click this little preview button in the lower right, and I can preview the front, I can preview the back, and then I go ahead and complete project. Hit I approve. They're just basically kind of warning you there, saying, "Hey, uh, once you hit approve, like this is what's going to get printed. So it's your fault if you screw it up." <laughs> okay. Um, so I've got that project now saved, and it shows me here. You know, these postcards are going to be fifty-five cents uh, a piece, and that doesn't include the postage. Postage is another forty cents or something like that. Okay. So once I have that set up, I'm going to click integrations. And then I'm going to go view edit actions. I'm going to create a new action. And give this gift a name, or this action a name, sorry. So let's say this is my referral gift. Okay. And then I'm going to go find my projects that I created. The last one I created, I didn't give it a name. So it was actually this last one here. Um, but you can go back and name those so you know what's what. And then I'll choose a gift over here. 
So I'll choose the uh, two pack of brownies. I'm going to do from the Box Out Marketing office to the billing address. And then I'll go ahead and hit Create Action. And that is this one up here on the top. So I'm going to copy that URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click or whatever, copy. Now I'm going to go into my Infusionsoft account. Okay. And so I'm going to go into Campaign Builder. And I'll create a new campaign. Call this a referral uh, gift campaign. If you know our naming convention, this would be stage seven, referral gift campaign. Okay, and then I'm gonna have, uh, if I'm just gonna do this one, every time there's a referral, I can just use a, a tag here. And uh, tagged for giving a referral. Put the sequence on here. Let's go ahead and create a tag. So this would be a trigger tag because it achieves a goal. Excuse me, sorry about that. I had a, a sneeze, needed to mute myself for a sec. So trigger, and then this is our referral gift campaign start. And that goes in the trigger category. First thing we do inside this sequence is remove the trigger tag. That's one of our rules. Okay. I'll go down here and remove that tag. I would apply another tag as an activity tag. So activity, referral gift campaign, gave referral. So that was the activity and that one, that tag's never gonna be removed. Okay, and then I'm gonna put an HTTP post snippet here. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna paste in the URL that I copied from Zendirect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in first name here, the same way I spelled it in the merge uh, on the postcard. And then I'm gonna merge in the first name. You can either type it if you're confident in typing these things or you can go ahead and click the merge button there. And that'll pop open this guy and I can just get uh, first name which I've relabeled here and uh, have it there. Mark that as ready. Mark the sequence as ready. And go ahead and publish the campaign. Now, anytime someone gives me a referral and I want them to get this gift, I just give them this tag. And they can go through it over and over and over because when they get that tag, that tag gets removed. And so if they get it again in the future, it'll still trigger the goal and they'll go into the sequence. So that's the rough idea. Jared, let me, let me know if you have any questions about that, but that is the process to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. Jared's making fun of my tabs. Yeah, that's just kind of how I work. I have lots of tabs open all the time. <laughs> uh, Tom is uh, a longtime friend and uh, client of ours, and he says that Zendirect will provide inserts into cards, I think for a dollar per card. I've heard of applicant applications where this can be a nice service, FYI. So yeah, thanks, Tom. I know Tom's been using Zendirect longer than we have. Uh, he's been using it for a long time. He uses it for lots of different stuff. Uh, Jamie, thanks for the reminder that my battery is about to die. I think I've got a few minutes there. Yeah, an hour and two minutes. Uh, yeah, this battery lasts a long time. All right, Jared says, man, I wish I would have had this info before we spent all the money and time on customer Christmas cards for our members. Thanks for this. Yeah, next year, next year, Jared. <laughs> you know, another thing that we didn't talk about in the webinar is doing like a birthday card campaign. Super easy to do that, right? Um, you get people into a looping sequence that sends them through and every year on their birthday or a few days before their birthday, it triggers a card or a postcard from Zendirect. Super easy to do, right? Uh, Jamie, it would be a good idea to put yourself in all campaigns and actually send yourself the gift to test the process and get the physical card. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, I actually haven't put myself in our referral campaign, but I put uh, some clients in there that I knew would get the stuff and then I just called them and said, hey, did you get the card? How did it look? Can you hold on for it, onto it for me so next time I see you, I can look at it? I wanted to see the quality of the printing and all that kind of stuff. So you're absolutely right. Uh, Jamie asking, why would you have first name in the merge field? Is it required? No, it's not required. I think you're asking about in this, um, in this post. It's not required for the post, but since I put first name into my card, so if we go back to my projects, um, 
and we look at this most recent one that we did. Let's edit. On the back side of the card, right here, if you remember I put in hi and then merged first name uh, so that we can customize the card. If I'm doing that, I need to merge first name here. I need to put I need to pass it through the post so that Zendirect can use it in the postcard. Uh, okay, and then you're asking, uh, sorry, I meant contact ID. So yeah, obviously the first name we need to merge in. Contact ID we need because we're not passing the mailing address, but the Zendirect integration looks up the mailing address because it knows the contact ID. It says, okay, let's go into the Infusionsoft API, let's pull the mailing address uh, for that particular uh, contact so that we know what mailing address to, um, to mail it to. Okay, so that's why you do need the contact ID. Contact ID is there by default for every HTTP post, so you don't need to edit that part or do anything about it. The first name is the only part you'll need to add if you're, if you're merging in first name, and you'll need to merge in any other fields that you want to merge. Okay, Jared says, do the values you're sending over to the card have to have the double brackets? Obviously, not right here. They don't have the double brackets in the post, but in the post card itself, or the trifold mailer or whatever, uh, you do need to put the double brackets here for Zendirect to know where to merge. Okay, Zendirect uses um, you know those double brackets where Infusionsoft uses the tilde. Uh, so they all have different systems they use for merging, right? All right, Tom says a big advantage of Zendirect over Sendout cards is that Zendirect is totally white labeled for total customization. Sendout cards uses the back of the card for their advertising. Yep, absolutely true. I did hear recently though that they've now um, changed that and they're allowing you to take off their branding. Um, I don't know all the details behind that, but yeah, that's one of the reasons we like Zendirect as well. And the free integration. Good point. Sendout cards, you're going to have to pay for a, an integration. Um, okay, Brian's asking, uh, you know, go back to the be beginning. How do we send different gifts for the first time, second time, third time, etc.? Yeah, great question. So I went through just kind of a simple process here, but here's the idea. So we'll label this one first time. Obviously, you would need to create another sequence for the second time and the third time, etc., and you would put different stuff inside of each one. Okay. I'm going to leave the same thing inside of each one just for the sake of time here. But as soon as you start connecting more than one sequence to a goal or a sequence, then you'll get this decision diamond, right? So what we need to do here is we need to create some tags and apply those tags. So in here, I'm going to create uh, what I'll call a status tag, okay? So a status tag, I'm going to say um, referral gift campaign. And the status is first gift given. Okay, so do status there. And then in the second one, I'm going to do another status tag for second gift given. All right, and of course you, you're going to you know, edit all this stuff, make them all ready. The third one, I'm going to put same thing, but I'm going to do third gift given. Create that one as a status. Save. Okay, and then in our decision diamond, here's what we do. So for the first time sequence, which we can see up here, what are the rules? I'm going to add rules on all of these real quick just to make this a little faster. Um, but we're going to say if the contacts tags doesn't contain the first gift given tag then they're going to go into the first time sequence on the second one we're going to say if the contacts tags contains the first gift given tag and the contacts tags doesn't contain the second gift given tag, then they go into that one. And this one, I'm going to say if the contacts tags contains the second gift given tag and contacts tags doesn't contain 
the third gift given tag. Okay, so that's the basics of the rules there. You know, there's various different ways to do that. That's a simple way to do it. Obviously, make all those published and set different HTTP posts for each one, and you're all set to go. So that's the basics behind doing that. Um, you just need to set up various different sequences, and then you need to configure your um, your tags in each one and your decision diamond so it routes them. So the first time they come in, they don't have any of the tags, and it says, "Hey, do they um, do they have the the uh, if they don't have the first tag, then put them in the first sequence. Second time they come through, it says, hey, if they have the first one and they don't have the second one, then put them in here. And the third time, it will say, if they have the second one and they don't have the third one, then put them in the third one. Okay, So that's the, that's the basics there. Okay, So I'm going back to what you all said at the beginning that you wanted to get out of this. Um, John said, we do a lot of offline gift giving, but I want to know how to automate some of it. Great. So hopefully we've shown you some simple campaign uh, processes that you can implement in Infusionsoft. We've also introduced you to Zendirect, which might be able to help you with some of your offline uh, gift giving. Um, Jamie said, I'd like to better integrate digital with physical marketing activities for maximum impact. So yeah, I think you can, throughout your campaigns, deliver some cool stuff digitally and then occasionally... Uh, you know, throw in that unexpected gift or something like that through the offline uh, marketing and get some good impact there. Scott, look and see what kinds of gifts you are giving and how you're doing it. So I showed you Zendirect, showed you that we send brownies, we send caramels, and we send popcorns <laughs> for referrals. We do different things for, for clients uh, than we do for referrals. Um, and then we're looking at uh, kind of our lead conversion process right now and where we can introduce some things there as well. All right, Colleen said, I want to learn how to use Infusionsoft on gift giving to see if it would apply with our clients. So hopefully that helped. All right, well, great. Well, I think we've been through all the questions. Uh, Mike has one more question. Um, he said, hey, give us a little teaser. What's coming up for next for Infusionsoft? Well, you know, I don't even have to give you a teaser because you guys can all look at this stuff now. This is the first time in history, the last few months, Infusionsoft has started to publish, pre-publish, uh, the product roadmap and what's coming. So if you go to help.infusionsoft.com and you go to release notes, they're always at least one month ahead. And so most of you don't have the December release yet, but if you click on the December update, you'll be able to watch a video here and you'll be able to see all of the new features coming up here. So... Two major, major, major things uh, that are awesome for Infusionsoft. The one is this bug fix. <laughs> they fix the multi-tabbing issue. So if you've ever been bitten by the multi-tabbing corruption uh, issue with Infusionsoft, that will no longer be a problem. Actually, I'm going to say there's three major things. Uh, the next major thing is this new goal, trigger campaign when a contact visits your website. So you'll be able to trigger a campaign goal just by a website visit, and you can get very specific. If they visit this page, if they haven't been on this page for a while and they come back, you know, all kinds of different things. You can set up cart abandonment campaigns. Lots of really cool stuff that you can do with this new goal. I'll show it to you here. It's right here, web page automation. So you drag this goal out, and you give it a name, of course, and then you double click to configure, and you add a URL. So I'll say, hey, if they come to boxoutmarketing.com slash uh, console, which is our consultation request page, um, then, whoops, I didn't do that right. Doing that box out, marketing.com slash console. If they come to that page, then it will trigger the goal. Oh, I think you have to hit enter. It's not really intuitive. I did this the other day. It took me a few tries. <laughs> Bugmarketing.com slash console, hit return, and then, it, and then it enters it. So I can say, hey, when they get to that URL, then trigger this goal. I can actually enter in more URLs as well. So I can say, hey, if they get to that one or they get to our, I don't know, login page. Um, or I can actually put a star. You can use some, some wild cards. So I can say, you know, boxoutmarketing.com slash star, it'll basically do the whole site. Um, so you have lots of different ways you can configure that goal. And then of course, when someone visits that page, it'll then trigger that goal and start them off into this sequence. Now, of course, they have to already be opted into Infusionsoft and they have to have an active cookie. Uh, if they've cleared their cookies or whatever, then that's not going to work. Um, but if they're coming from an email, so if you send an email and they click the email and then they start browsing around your site, uh, you should be good. So that, that goal will be triggered. 
Um, so those are the the coolest things. That's the the coolest you know new feature really that's coming. Um, and then uh, one other thing is uh, uh, this DKIM records domain keys identified mail is now available in Infusionsoft. So this is going to allow you to send email where it does not have that mailer at Infusionsoft. So you know how your emails send from mailer at infusionsoft.com on behalf of Tyler Garns, you know, Tyler at boxofmarketing.com. Well, if you get your DKIM keys set up correctly, then uh, you can no longer use that if you want to turn it off. Uh, so you just send directly from your own email address. This is basically setting up the authentication to do that so that it doesn't end up in spam. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, another thing. Um, you can use the context time zone and the campaign sequence timers. So if you have a campaign and you want an email to go out at 8 a.m., well, if your list is international or your list spans a bunch of different time zones, then you might want to go out want that email to go out at 8 a.m. for everybody in their own time zone. Well, there's a little checkbox now where you can say, yeah, do it only in their time zone. Otherwise, it'll do it in the time zone that you have your account set on. Okay? And then here's another really good one. Uh, search results will default to an unchecked state. So if I go back here to my campaign list, uh, you'll see that nothing is checked. Everything used to be pre-checked before, which caused people to accidentally like delete all their campaigns <laughs> or things like that. It, it might cause you to... Um, bang your head against the wall just a little bit when you first start with like contact searches because contact searches you used to pull up you know a search you'd go dial it in with tags and whatever criteria you wanted and then you go immediately to actions and you'd start running the actions that you want on those people maybe send a broadcast well now you have to check the box you check the box so it selects all the people what's cool is it tells you so i'm on six different pages here but it tells me hey there's 109 total in the list 109 are selected so i know that when i check that box i've got them all selected and then i can go run my actions so all right, so those are the cool things. Um, hopefully that's exciting to you. It's really exciting to me. I'm uh, really looking forward to all of these things uh, getting rolled out. So, all right, um, good to have you all on. I've got to run. I'm sure you've got things to do. So uh, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, again, I apologize for not uh, having the screen showing at the beginning. When we did the AV test, everyone said they could see the screen. Something went wacky and it got disconnected. Uh, but thanks for letting me know. We got it all back on track. And uh, have a great holiday season, and we'll talk to you guys all soon.